what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we are going to be talking about the scary movie franchise in this video here today because we got some very exciting news on the surface anyway related to a scary movie 6 being on the way or a reboot as it's being reported as by reputable outlets first of all how do you reboot this the franchise just parodies popular films from movie to movie as we got deeper into the franchise i'll go out on a limb and say that this reboot that is being framed as is just going to be the sixth sixth entry in the franchise that leaves all the previous films canon everything that came before is going to be left canon they're not going to be erasing uh brenda or or cindy or anything like that ray none of it shorty none of it i don't see that happening variety covered this news from paramount pictures out of CinemaCon today so let's talk about the concerns because while this idea sounds exciting, we're going to also address these concerns. But let's, I guess, firstly go over the report. So it says Scary Movie, the early aughts comedy series that lampooned horror movies like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer is getting rebooted. Paramount Pictures announced that it is partnering with Fast and Furious mega producer Neil H. Moritz to resurrect the dormant franchise. Scary Movie is going into production in the fall of 2024 and should hit theaters in 2025. The series spawned five previous films before running out of gas with the 2013 installment but horror has continued to be a major force at the box office with movies like five nights at freddy's smile and megan drawing big crowds so there's a lot of new material for the scare movie team to parody scare movie is also being made as a part of the as a part of the paramount's first look partnership with miramax the studio behind the film franchise miramax will fully finance the production with paramount handling distribution the indie label is a joint venture between paramount and BN, Miramax recently announced that it has a new CEO and former MGM chief, Jonathan Glickman. So, again, let's talk about the concerns. Because while the idea sounds exciting, when you look beyond nostalgia and consider where we are today as a society, is this movie already doomed? So, for one, the Waynes brothers' absence from later entries clearly made those less favorable among fans, me included. So, if they aren't back, there's the argument that you should just keep keep this don't even bother making the movie obviously that's not going to happen because it's their money they're going to spend it how they want to to try to entertain us however with movies like megan the scream franchise being revived halloween saw still going on chucky hereditary talk to me any a24 hit movie from the past couple of years annabelle midsommar x and so many others that have supplied ammo for a scary movie return it's not shocking that the franchise is making its way back to the big screen marlon i believe went on record to say that the franchise was snatched from him and his brother and how a deal couldn't be agreed upon etc obviously as someone who will defend the idea that scary movie and scary movie 2 are the best i prefer that these two the waynes brothers do return and come back but i don't see it happening I'd also like to see Cindy and Brenda's dynamic again because that was the duo of my childhood in terms of this franchise. Ferris, I believe, also has stated she'd be down for a whole lot of money. And Hall has also stated that she'd be down. But I'm curious if they'd also like to see some form of justice for the Wayans brothers before signing anything on the dotted line. So here's the biggest concern that feels appropriate to talk about when it comes to an IP like Scary Movie society has gone soft in a lot of ways some of the things in scary movie one and two and some of the, some of the stuff even in the later films uh more specifically three i feel like would be considered well not would be i'm certain there's somebody out there who turns on these movies especially those first three and goes oh this is so offensive to people of color like myself when in reality many of us people of color we think it's funny as hell we don't need you to speak for us we don't need you to constantly defend us and be our saviors the first three movies are funny as hell there's material in them yes that can be sensitive but that's why certain people should not be watching certain things there is no need for this franchise to go soft that's what i would argue but i know in my heart that we could be on the verge of seeing one of the most watered down entries that makes four and five look like oscar pieces oscar worthy pieces i should say because of the direction we've gone in when it comes to the way everybody is hyperly offended by every little thing everyone wants to jump on a bandwagon and defend some minority because you think we can't speak up for ourselves and that we don't have access to certain things this that and the third and just always wanted to be a savior to minority groups or not even that just in general when talking about any of these sensitive topics race other ideologies 
politics, how everything has so many people divided and heated with each other. A movie like this coming out now probably is going to be watered down to not offend anyone. And that's the last thing we should even be concerned about when addressing the scary movie franchise. Are they going to water it down so that everyone can have a good time with it? Well, if you're doing that, then is it really scary movie? My answer would be no. This is not scary movie and there would be no need to revive this IP if you're going to just water everything down. There's plenty of things they could try to parody and poke fun at. Uh, things that many people would again argue are not, not funny. Many people just wouldn't find these things funny today. If you make fun of certain groups, it's going to come off as offensive to some, while others like myself are able to take things on the chin and just keep it pushing because I know you're not being serious and you're just trying to throw jabs at me in a playful way. But other people don't take things as playful anymore. They are very sensitive. Their emotions are high and it's easy to get a tear running down their cheek because they're soft. That's just the reality for a lot of people that they don't care to admit. They're not built for this life and scary movie six could end up being very weak in that department when it comes to giving us things that we loved about those first three films because of the fact that there is a lot of material i could argue is highly offensive depending on who is watching the movie i know there's at least one person out there or a few who have watched scare movie 2 and they find the mystical scene where they're singing shake it fast and saying the n-word they find that offensive I'm, I'm pretty sure they do they think people of color find it offensive too and i'm telling you a lot of people of color we don't care we think that shit is funny so then if i know where we are now as a society in 2024 i have no reason so far to think that we're going to get something on the level of those first three movies especially the first two we're going to likely get something i hope not but i have to be prepared for it anyway we might get something that is watered down it is as i again stated very soft while it might get a chuckle out of me it's just not going to be in the same vein of what those first three movies were like and then especially the biggest thing again for many if the wayans brothers are not back they don't want it because they're probably thinking, OK, well, it's just going to be another movie like Scare Movie 5. Scare Movie 5, I would say, is arguably the worst one. Isn't that the one with Ashley Tisdale and the Planet of the Apes stuff? That was the more recent one with Snoop Dogg and Mac Miller, the Cabin in the Woods stuff. That movie wasn't that wasn't all that. That's the worst one. I'd rather watch the first four. But hopefully Scare Movie 6 is able to live up to what we can expect coming from those first three films. We'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to like my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there and let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video